This is the Extrify MZ1 Wireless. This mouse is a very interesting one as it's designed by a rival YouTube mouse reviewer, a fierce enemy that I will one day crush underneath the might of my superior ego, Rocket Jump Ninja. Rocket Jump Ninja has tested over 150 different mice on YouTube and has played FPS games for 20 years, so he should know a thing or two about good mouse design. And here's the interesting thing, he hasn't settled for a simple design to please everyone. This mouse is one of the most intriguing looking gaming mice on the market, with it being one of the smallest in length and having a questionable shape on the surface. So just how comfortable is a mouse shape like this? Will it be a mouse that will improve your aim? Does this contain some extra secrets and goodies, much like Extrify's previous mice? Let's start by addressing the elephant in the room, the shape of the mouse. The creator did say, which is something that I agree with, that the MZ1 should take a few weeks to get used to. My hand still had to adapt to this mouse, and I designed it. So give it time, if you think it could work for you someday, then I encourage you to stick with it. He does have a whole video dedicated to explaining the design choices so he can do my job for me. The MZ1 has a shape that I believe is best suited to claw or fingertip grip due to its incredibly small size. It is just 111 millimeters long approximately, which is shorter than pretty much every mouse. This makes it perfect for people that don't really look to have palm support and want something that provides a bit more space to enable micro aim adjustments by the fingers. The MZ1 is also incredibly narrow just 59 millimeters wide so if you really want a mouse that is just there and hardly touching your skin this will probably be the best for you despite the initial looks it's also not an ambidextrous mice it's hard to notice it from the top down but on the underside you can see there's a difference between the left and right side if you find the default back isn't comfortable enough for you well good news like some other extra five mice you can replace the back with another one that comes included thus giving this mouse a second chance to impress you it's simple really you just unscrew the bottom screw and voila you take the back off, replace it with another one and it's done. It also stays somewhat secure without screws so you can try it without committing to screwing it back in. I've actually been playing it without the screw in and it's never popped off thankfully. Another customization feature that returns from the Extrify M4 wireless is the ability to change the weight distribution. You unscrew these screws and then you can move the battery position if you prefer to have a top or bottom heavy mouse or if you want something that's more balanced. Coating wise you get a soft matte texture available in a variety of colours that you can select on Extrify's website. You pick a black or white base and then select the top shell color. You can also add grip tape or glass skates as well if you want some extras. If the other color options are like this one it will be slightly translucent providing a peep of the internal workings. If you choose a non-standard color and hate it you can always swap back to the reserved black or white choice in the future. At least mine came with some replacements anyway. Maybe forest green isn't a color that they think anybody would get but look the mouse is now disguised. In terms of what's under the hood, you get Kale GM 8.0s for your main mouse 1 and 2 buttons. These are some of the nicest switches available. They are super consistent and have a nice satisfying click to them. There's also no noticeable pre-travel on these buttons, so they feel honestly fantastic. The side buttons are tiny. I mean, look at them. They're really small. I feel like these don't really provide a lot of accessibility for people with different hand sizes. They work though, I find them reachable personally, but I just don't know if it'll be the same with, for people with smaller or larger hands. The scroll wheel also has the same high level quality as the rest of the mouse, thankfully. Especially as a lot of mice I've been using recently have had some rather different scroll wheels. It's nice to use one that is just no thrills, consistent and reliable. The scroll notches are nice and stiff, but it's easy to cycle through and the mouse 3 button is easy to trigger and feels good to use also. Overall, the more physical parts of the mouse will still keep the high quality that I've come to expect from Extrify, which is good. But we still need to discuss in-game use and of course what you really came to see, my valuable opinion. In terms of what's running this mouse inside, you get a Pixar 3370 sensor. The sensor is a good one, it's not top of the line anymore, but it doesn't mean it will be bad. It's still a high performance and energy efficient sensor, it has a max DPI of 19,000. Something that slightly annoys me is the fact there's no software, so you have to manually cycle through all the DPI options and there's eight. I'm someone that does go through different DPIs mainly when I'll be working I'll swap to 400 DPI when it requires some inch perfect position when creating fantastic works of art in Photoshop and then back to 800 or 1600 depending on the game. But to get to 400 again I then have to go through eight. Eight DPI options! But just because there is no software that doesn't mean you can't change things. With the mouse comes a small pamphlet of instructions that gives you all the information you need to make the change 
changes that you require. You can change polling rates, debounce times, lift off distance and RGB. I say it does somewhat get a bit awkward as it would be faster to just do some of these changes within the software. There is a point where it feels like you're about to use the mouse as an instrument and there's no words in the instructions either so they really don't want to talk to you. Now it's time for my verdict. For those of you that may wish to get a nice meaty palm grip on this mouse well you're out of luck. I personally find that this mouse is just incredibly uncomfortable for my palm grip. There's just points that whenever I'm playing with it my hand is just constantly adjusting my grip to find something more comfortable. I did use a smaller hump which did make it a little bit more comfortable for me I guess to the extent that I wasn't fidgeting like a five year old desperate for a there's no place for my ring finger to go as well I found, even when using a claw grip I really wanted my ring finger to sit on the side where the button is, but because it overhangs it means that I might accidentally misclick. There's also not really a whole lot of room on the right side either so it's uncomfortable there also. The other thing is the holes on the side, there's been effort made to not have holes in some areas where you might grip the mouse but I feel you might as well get rid of them at this point because it seems like my fingers are placed exactly where the holes are. When I used a claw grip I did find it more comfortable but I feel like I would need more than the three weeks of time that Rocket Jump Ninja said you should give it. Coupled with my old, frail, decrepit hands, I have to be careful using mice that aren't comfortable for me, or I'll end up having to use a rollerball mouse for the rest of my days and play solitaire. When I've been using it in-game, despite the shape, it has been pretty nice. I've been using it with my Fnatic Dash and my Steel Series Quick Heavy with the stock PTFE feet, and it's been good. I wouldn't go as far to say that I've been aiming well with it, because I haven't. My grip against this mouse has never felt consistent, so there's just too many points where I'm taking fights in Apex, with my hand in a position I'm not used to, making it so I'm making adjustments when shooting or changing targets. But I can't exactly hate a mouse that wasn't designed for me, as this wireless version has been released after a previous released wired version. I can only assume that it sold well enough to be popular with other gamers, and a recent poll on this channel did suggest that over 50% of PC gamers use either claw or fingertip grip, so it makes sense. With that in mind, it's easy to recommend this mouse, but only if it fits your hand. Remember that it might take a few weeks to get used to, so I'd recommend getting it from a retailer with a reasonable returns and exchange process, as this mouse definitely won't be suitable for everyone. And with this this mouse costing around $119 at the time of this review, it is a bit of a steep price, but if it fits your hand, I can see it serving you well. Because you still get the benefits of it being an extra fine mouse, each one of their mice I've used recently has been flawless in terms of quality, and the same applies here. There are a few things I'd wish to change, such as actually having some software, and I'm not sold on the adjustable weight distribution. Overall, I can't fault Extrafy or Rocket Jump Ninja for trying to do something different with the MZ1. They could always just make the same shape that everyone else has been bringing up recently but they went for something different and I'm sure that shape will benefit someone out there. It might even suit you.